Hi, it's Mrs. Ballard at the Hubbard Public Library. Welcome to week four of our Mindful Mondays. This is our fourth and last video of our Mindful Monday series. We hope you have enjoyed it. I want to remind you that we do have take home art supply kits available while supplies last. And you can call to pick those up at our drive through window, or you can stop in during library hours. Today, we are going to talk about clouds. Going outside into nature and taking time to look at the clouds is a mindful activity. You can use your sense of sight to appreciate the clouds and focus your thoughts and breathing. Laying on the grass while you do this activity can also help you feel grounded and connected to nature. Let's get our Mindful Monday started by doing our star wand breathing activity. You wanna make sure that all of your beads are on one side of your wand and we are going to slowly breathe in and out as we shoot each bead across the wand. Let's do it together. Remember, you can make a wish as you shoot your last star across. If you would like to feel a little more relaxed, you can breathe your beads back to the other side of your wand. Now we are ready for a mindful day. I hope you enjoy the rest of our mindful activities that we have for you today. Hello, it's Mrs. Russo. This week, the title of our story is, It Looked Like Spilt Milk based on the book by Charles Shaw. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was a cloud in the sky. Floating on a cloud. This relaxing activity 
can be done by using your imagination. Or you can go outside, lie on the ground, and look up at the sky. Try to focus on your breathing while you are doing this activity. Slowly breathe in and out as you imagine the clouds or look at the clouds in the sky. Lie on your back and close your eyes. Imagine a big fluffy cloud floating above you. See it come down gently beside you. Imagine what your cloud looks like. What color is it? Does your cloud have a shape? This is your own special cloud. You are completely safe and happy when you are on your cloud. Climb up onto your cloud and it will take you anywhere you want to go. What things do you see as you float on your cloud? Where will your cloud take you? Let your cloud fly you to a special place where you can rest quietly and feel peaceful. The take home kit this week includes supplies to make your very own cloud. As you can see, our cloud looks like it is raining hearts. The heart is a symbol of the center of all of your emotions. As you make your cloud, you can think about some of the emotions you may have felt today. Did you feel happy today? Did something happen to make you feel sad today? Or maybe something made you feel angry. You can also think about these things as you lay outside and look up at the clouds in the sky. You can call to pick up your kit at our drive through window or stop in the children's room during library hours. Hi, it's Mrs. Terabassi, and today we're going to make colorful, calming clouds. Colorful, calming clouds can serve as a visual anchor in order to bring your focus into one place. To create colorful calming clouds, you'll need a clear container that can hold water. I have a very large container for the demonstration today, but you can use a smaller container, a jar, or even a flower vase. You'll need some shaving cream, some food coloring, and of course some water. Take your shaving cream and layer it on top of the water. This is what's going to create your clouds. Then take your food coloring and put it on top of your shaving cream. The slow falling colors can serve as a visual reference that often unconsciously will even slow your heart rate and your respirations. Hello, it's Mrs. Bala again, and we are at our final activity. We end each of our Mindful Monday videos by using our mini sand gardens to help us clear our minds and prepare for the rest of our day. Drawing patterns in the sand is a calming activity. It helps us to slow down, focus our thoughts and our breathing, 
it helps us to practice our mindfulness and being in the moment. I'm using my little rake, but you could use a fork or you could even use your finger to draw patterns in the sand. And remember, you can start over at any time. You can smooth out the sand with your hand, or you can give your garden a little shake. If you would like some more mindful activity ideas, we recommend this book, Paint a Double Rainbow by Sally Arnold. We also have other mindful books in the library. We hope that you stop in and check some out. We hope that you have enjoyed our Mindful Monday activities that we've demonstrated for you. Thank you for watching.